If you're tired of normal revenge stories, then it's time for some revenge with love. <laughs> Masamune Kun's Revenge is an anime centralized around Masamune Makabe. When he was just a child, he met a girl named Aki Adakaki by chance and befriends her. However, as time passed, he prepares to ask her out, and the situation turns out as she rejects him while giving him the nickname Piggy for being overweight. Her by the term, Masamune decides time and effort into improving his appearance as he gets into tip top shape. Now, Masamune finds himself attending high school alongside Aki with a new identity, as he creates the grand plan of making Aki fall in love with him just so he can cold-heartedly reject her the same way she rejected him all those years ago. Yep, the whole plot of this anime is centered around rejection, so you'll find no anime better than this one if you want the reject and regret story. <laughs> Why do we need girls when we have the gals? And this time, it's more like both people started to reject each other and then start to regret it. So, what's the story this time? Junichi Hashiba is the only boy in class who doesn't have a girlfriend. He sees all his other friends with girlfriends and laments about how he can never get one. But his friends never leave him alone either. They encourage him to ask out Yukana Yame, the most popular girl in the class. The confession goes well, but Yukana, on the other hand, thinks Junichi is just asking her out because he's too lonely. But, surprise, surprise, our boy gets too angry when our gal decides to act too mighty and stubborn. At this point, anime girls should learn it's their pride that- <laughs> Golden time is more like really bad rejection time. There are two scenes where there's rejection and then regret. And the first time, it's the girl's fault. She starts talking trash about her poor guy, and then when she opens the door, she realizes the guy heard everything. And then her guy's like, fine, you don't want me? Then I don't want you either. <laughs> but the good thing is, that isn't even the main confession scene of this show. The show also involves amnesia. Yes, the main character here has the usual no memory, so no personality syndrome, and serves as only a background character in the first two to three episodes. Events happen around him, but he's numb. But then he proposes to the girl by the seventh episode, and only then his character finally gets the spotlight. This is written by the same author who wrote Toradora, so go expecting similar elements. <laughs> Okay, now this girl is a different kind of girl, but you can still count on it as a rejection. Well, this started as a dating simulation game, and it would be no wonder the focus of this building relationships. It follows Junichi Tachiban, who is wary of romantic relationships after being stood up by a girl. But now he meets five girls, all of whom develop relationships with him. But wait, no. This doesn't follow the harm route. There are a set of episodes dedicated to each girl showing how the couple will end up if Junichi chooses that girl. And this time, our unlucky main character lands with his senpai who straight up goes and says she likes more older guys than him. Can this guy have a sudden growth spurt in a couple of days? Or is I... Before y'all start hating every android in existence, you need to understand that this time there was reason for our girl to reject our main character. Plastic Memories lives up to the expectations by creating this beautiful and tragic sci-fi love story between a human and an android. From the start of the show itself, you can see the main theme of the anime is to showcase how nothing lasts forever. So after you watch a couple of episodes and get the hang of it, you know where the show's heading. And then the confession scene comes along and you feel like pulling your heart out. This is a comedy anime, so expect this whole regret thing to play into a comedic way. What do we have in Just Because? Well, we've got vampires, aliens, and I'm sure the last thing we're missing in here is time travel. Just Because involves tons of secrets. It's hard to keep secrets. Even more so if you don't have that much of a good history with things that shouldn't be said out loud. But Asahi isn't going to let that stop him from keeping Yoko, the girl he has the heart for, leave his world even if she's a vampire but doesn't look like one at all. 
help. But the problems don't end there. Soon you realize this girl has a secret. And this girl has another secret. And this anime should be called the Anime of Secrets. And the girl who regrets the rejection is an alien, so you should sympathize with her. <laughs>